So <clears throat> here we go with gravy making 101. So what's happened here is I cooked a chicken, got a roast chicken that I cooked in that. All the juices and everything are in there. So I've taken off the, um, taken out the, um, the, the fat, got rid of all of that lot. And now what I'm doing is just putting some hot water into it and I'm going to scrape the, uh, the thingies to get as much of the flavour that's in the pan off. So I have to sit there and I have to rub all the little juices. And as you see, as you rub the juices, the colour changes as it releases all that flavour from the chicken back into the water. Once I've done that, I've scraped all the sides, all here, you've gone through the whole pan, just scraping and wetting and scraping, and all that flavour that's been building up on the sides comes off and goes into there, and that's what flavours your, your gravy. Then I'll stick one of these in. I'll put some corn flour in, big ta tablespoon into my cup there, and then cold water into that to mix it up, and then I'll tip that into there at the end, Add some salt and some pepper, and then that should be about it. And I'll I'll report back in a bit. So there you go. And now I've scraped all the stuff off the pan, all the stuck on stuff on the sides, and you can see the, the colour has changed to this nice golden colour now. I'm taking all the flavour now off the pan, and it looks absolutely ready now for. That's all pure flavour. So let's go to stage two. So here we are with stage two. We've taken all the flavour out of the uh, pot here and we stick that flavour into a pan. As you can see here, there's still some bits here. So we'll just push this out with a little bit more hot water just to clean the pan off. Remember, this is all about just cleaning the pan and getting all that flavour as we can into a little thing so that's all the flavour in there now let's start making the gravy here. so flavour's in the pan now we're going to put the stock in and that really puts a whole load of uh, extra juices into it and there's always a lot of stuff in the bottom here yeah that's all flavour what we'll do is we'll just give that a little bit of hot water wash it around a bit, take that last little bit of flavour and that's the basis of our now of our gravy. As you can see there's quite a lot there and what we'll do now is we'll just let that warm up, bubble down and then we'll do some tasting and see where we get to. And here we are, reducing down, Let's reduce a little bit, just a little bit more to go. The more we reduce it, the more flavour it takes because it gets rid of the water. So, put a heap, teaspoon, teap, you put, you put a heap tablespoonful, this much, maybe a little bit more than that, big heap, into your pot and then mix it with a little bit of cold water. Mix, 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 mix until it's not, um, what you call it ever again. Okay, good. And so I mix that thing with cold water, you tip it in and stir it, you keep stirring and stirring, but otherwise it goes lumpy, or it doesn't work properly, and then you end up with this thick, gee, lovely. Now you have to warm it back up again, because you put cold water in the flour, in the corn flour, and it needs to warm back up again, and as it warms up, it'll start blooping, and once it's blooping, then we can start tasting, and then you'll add salt, Pepper, don't be frightened of putting salt and pepper in. Plenty of salt. Salt's key to this. Maybe a little bit of balsamic vinegar as well. Yeah, just to really give it some depth. And cut. Gravy. Done.